Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back for a spot of royalty. Prince Harry follows Meghan's lead and heads to television. Read some of this for you. In a promotional photo published by Variety, Harry sits in a plaid armchair reading from a Thomas book. In a statement, Harry said, Thomas the Tank Engine has been a comforting, familiar face to so many families over the last 75 years entertaining, educating, and inspiring children on important issues. Harry, when he was a child, carried a Thomas backpack to his first day of nursery school in 1987. The Royal Engine features Britain's Queen Elizabeth and her eldest child, Prince Charles, Harry's father, as a boy awaiting the arrival of Sir Topham Hatt, also known as the Fat Controller. He's been invited to London by the Queen to collect an award, and it's Thomas's due job to get him there safely. It's about Thomas and Sir Topham Hatt embarking on a journey to London, and on the way they come across lots of pitfalls and perils. The recording of Harry reading the introduction took place in January, before he gave up his royal duties and moved with his wife Meghan to the United States, where they intend to launch, launch a new charitable foundation. Thomas and Friends, the Royal Engine, is due to be screened around the world starting May 1st in the U.S. on Netflix. So Harry recorded this in January, and I'm wondering if, you know, Meghan was turning Harry's head away from royal duties toward acting. I remember uh, they went and pitched The Lion King. Uh, they skipped the uh, Royal Marines Memorial, where 11 service members were killed by the IRA in 1989 so that Harry could pitch for the Lion King. That was in July. Uh, and Harry was Captain General of the Royal Marines, and they sent that invitation one year prior. So I think she was manipulating and gaslighting him and turning his head. The other thing I want to cover is... Megan thinks if media had mistreated Kate instead of her, the royals wouldn't have put up with it. Meghan Markle reportedly told her friends that if the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, was being criticized by the press constantly, the royal family would have stepped in to change its media policies and would have slammed the tabloids. Megan said, quote, no one would have put up with it and the broken and outdated system would have been revived. Those outlets responsible for their vicious attacks would have been shut out, a friend of the former actress said. That's censorship. I'm not sure that that's true. 37-year-old, who's that? Oh, Megan. Okay, well, she's closer to 40. Reported that she believes if her sister-in-law was subjected to the same treatment given to her by the British media, quote, changes would have been made. The Sussexes on the... Queen's birthday last week, which was an upstage, announced that they would have, quote, no corroboration and zero engagement, quote, with four of the UK tabloids, including The Sun, The Daily Mail, The Express, and The Mirror. That's the fourth one. They couldn't remember the fourth, I guess. This policy is not about avoiding criticism. It's not about shutting down pol public conversation or censoring accurate reporting. A statement released by the couple said, media have every right to report on and indeed have an opinion on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, good or bad, but it can't be based on a lie. What they won't do is offer themselves up as currency for an economy of clickbait and distortion. That is a twisted reverse world because it is about shutting down public conversation. It is about censoring accurate reporting. That's exactly what it is. And the media do have every right uh, to report Stuff. The decision left palace aides stunned. Here's the part that's interesting. Meghan said it was infuriating that Harry's very real and valid concerns fell on deaf ears. Meghan said that they made it seem like this is the way it is. Deal with it. Harry had been dealing with it for far too long. She said he wasn't going to let this destroy her life and their marriage. She turned it so that it was all Harry's problem. Harry's defending Meghan. Megan is defending herself, and Harry is defending Megan, and she turned it into Ma Harry's problem. Is Prince Harry following Meghan Markle to television? He narrated this. This is a picture of him narrating Thomas the Tank, the Royal Engine, featuring Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles back in January. Back in January, before 
they left the royal family, okay, before they went to North America, before they went to Hollywood. And I'm wondering, you know, if Meghan was constantly talking to Harry, constantly turning Harry's head towards acting, you know, I mean, she, she achieved the royal family, the highest position she will ever achieve. And yet, I think she was just constantly in Harry's ear talking to him about acting and her plans to be world famous. Nothing is enough, okay? And that's not what Harry wanted. Harry wanted to be an ordinary bloke working in the military. And what he loved about that is he was just like everybody else. The cameras weren't allowed there watching him all the time. He was just an ordinary fellow. And now he's, he's in Hollywood. You know, was Meghan turning Harry's head toward acting away from the royal family? Because this is immediately prior to them leaving the royal family. And, you know, and the pieces of the puzzle were just, we're slowly getting all the pieces of the puzzle. Because if you think about it, the last thing that Harry would seem to want is to go to Hollywood. This is where everything is laid bare. This is where you have no privacy. We have these celebrities literally posting essentially nude pictures of themselves on Instagram every day. Every day you see Kylie Jenner uh, and whomever, whomever uh, posting these very, very racy nude selfies and that makes the front page okay and then these very these much older women elizabeth hurley you know who's still looking really good and she's like 50 something i don't even know how old she is but she's constantly posting these bikini pics you know and oh wow you know and, and everything is laid bare in hollywood and that's how they do it uh so there's no privacy you're not ever going to have privacy again in hollywood so this just makes no sense for harry to go to hollywood so was she, did she turn Harry's head? Is this part of why they were kicked out of the royal family? High tower, isolating, hmm, isolation strategy, butterfly, and family relationship. Yeah, so she was constantly talking in his ear to isolate him from the royal family and making it, you know, weaving this narrative, oh, it's going to be so great if we do this and do this. And so she's getting him into acting. Now, it's not that unusual for a royal to do some acting, you know, to do a voiceover. He did that thing with Bon Jovi for the troops. Uh, so it's not that unusual for them to do like a little cameo here and there. And this is kind of an appropriate cameo. But was she turning his head? It appears so. This was part of her strategy of isolation, you know, getting him away from the royal family, isolating from the royal family through these, you know, ideas. And the outcome is <clears throat> very emotional separation from the crown secretly. 2032, eight spades and kicked out. Yeah. So she was she was working this whole strategy of, of getting him isolated, getting him away from the royal family. That's that's her thing. So she was just talking in his ear constantly to get him away and make him, you know, reach for this celebrity thing, which is exactly the opposite of what he wanted to be. Another thing we have Meghan Markle complaining that uh, the Crown would never have allowed Kate to be treated the way that she was treated. Okay, and it's patently ridiculous that the Crown would censor, you know, no contact, no corroboration, no engagement with with certain media outlets. That's absurd. And it's it's equally absurd that Meghan, Meghan and maybe Harry have sent this letter and the crown is saying oh that's crazy everybody's saying that's crazy so does the crown favor kate over megan markle let's look at kate and megan markle because megan was treated really well she had a 50 million dollar wedding prince charles the future king himself walked her down the aisle she was treated like 
it, it was amazing how she was treated. Okay, so in the beginning, Kate, Meghan Markle, Because in some sense, Kate is the future queen consort, uh, William is the future king, and <clears throat> so there's a positional thing there where Kate is a higher position than Meghan. However, Harry was the most popular royal, and, they, and Harry positionally is nowhere near William, okay, and yet he was allowed to become the most popular royal. Okay, and so what happened initially is Meghan's status rose to, to join Harry, uh, and she was, she was fixed, she was set in place to become the second most popular royal, even more popular than Kate and William and the Queen. Okay, but what happened instead is we see all these articles about how Harry is following uh, Meghan, and so Harry's, Harry's, popularity and status has plummeted to Megan's status. Okay, that's what we see happening. So was there a favoritism of Kate over Megan? It's interesting how this is going to read. Okay, Cross, she has the permanent position. She's in line and working towards it. 10, 14, 4 diamonds. Very structural. Okay, permanent and very structural, working everything together step by step opportunistically. So she is there in her role as the future queen consort. Okay. What's going on with Megan? Uh, hamster wheel, a very long, heavy road, hand in hand, all the people and connected, connected to all the people <clears throat> through the long journey, 16, 18, five diamonds. Okay. So she, what the way this is reading is she has to put in the work and be committed to putting in the work for the people and, and she has to earn it. She has to earn it. Okay. Uh, Kate's is positional. She still has to do her duty day by day, but Megan has to earn it. That's interesting how these cards are answering. Megan has to earn it. Okay. She didn't necessarily earn it. Under the surface, we have fence sitter and city, 13, four hearts, family, you know, home and family, reacting to all the people and her position in the family, cast out because of all the conflict. So the actions ended up being cast out because of all the conflict. So what this is saying is Megan needed to earn it. Kate already has earned it. She needs to maintain it. Kate needs to maintain it. Megan needs to earn it. She needs to put in the hard work to earn it. She didn't earn it and she was cast out. Interesting. So is there favoritism? No, it's, uh, it's by merit. That's what the cards are saying. Megan needed to earn it. How interesting. What an interesting... Uh... All right, so there is talk that Jessica Mulroney and Serena Williams have refused to uh, provide depositions in the trial. That would be a big deal if that's true. Uh, let's back up here. Have 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 Jessica Mulroney and Serena Williams refused to provide depositions, sworn depositions under oath, you know, stating this and that, and then they can be called to the witness stand, and and the the defense can see if they can get them to contradict their sworn statements. And that can be a big deal. You know, people go to jail for that. Uh, so you're really putting yourself on the hook by filing a deposition. Depending how diligent, you know, how diligently they're going to grill you. Uh, Jessica Mulroney and Serena Williams. Let's look. Jessica Mulroney. Serena Williams. Have they refused to file to do that? Ooh, look at that. Trouble in Paradise. Jessica Mulroney, Serena Williams, have they refused? Okay, now recently we saw Serena Williams on a video clip. She was being interviewed by 
the great Naomi Campbell, uh, the great uh, model, okay, and she was asked about Meghan Markle. Are you happy that Meghan Markle is now living in the U.S.? And Serena Williams says, I don't know her. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so that's a clue right there. And then she was wearing that... Uh, that little princess dress that was too tight and, and split in the back, and it seemed to be making fun of Megan. So she seems to be throwing some shade. Is Serena Williams refusing? Well, we have the devil, we have strength, and we have ladder, uh, Jacob's ladder. 22, 27 cross, the permanent relationship. They are, yeah, they're beefing right now. Okay, uh, the relationship is still strong, but Serena is upset at Megan right now. The devil is in the relationship. Okay, but we have permanent relationship and very strong and ongoing. The relationship is ongoing. Okay, uh, Serene is supposed to be one of Megan's besties. I think she is. I think they are. In, in another reading, I saw that they're still talking to each other all the time, which is very good. You know, contact is very important. But Serena is angry at Megan for something. I don't know what she's angry at her for, and she's trying to hurt her. The devil is very malicious, and the devil will hurt her. So I would say that Serena is angry and wants nothing to do with all of this court stuff. And we'll interpret it that way, because I asked, was she refusing to file a deposition? Well, the devil is stuck. And the devil will actually try to hurt you. So the, she wants nothing to do with it, and she's angry to be dragged into this. She's a tennis player. Okay, leave me alone. I want to play some tennis. What about Jessica Mulroney? Honest woman, close relationship, actions. 5 and 12, 17, 5 hearts. Yeah, Jessica Mulroney, they have a good, uh, loving relationship, very close, and she's going to do whatever uh, needs to be done. Absolutely no problem. So Jessica Mulroney will do it. Serena is very upset about it and is showing some really dark energy here. And you can just see how dark this is. And this is much brighter, much happier and brighter and open. Uh, underneath, we have the fox and the, and the water and the wine, which adds five spades. Very emotional. Uh, Okay, the fox is very strategic, and then we have a very emotional card, and then we have blocked. So it's a, it's a very emotional appeal to the friendship. Serena's not having it. Jessica is uh, falling for it. So, yeah, it's, it's a big obstacle. It's a big, big deal. Okay, and these are not stupid people, uh, and they realize what a big deal it is to be asked to file a deposition. Okay, now other people are saying, I'm also hearing that Megan is going to have trouble producing the five anonymous friends who interviewed with People Magazine. Now, if this was not a face-to-face -face interview, these five anonymous friends could actually be faked. And so people are saying, you know, are there actually five anonymous friends? Or is this all a scam? Because historically, in the past, it is, it is found that Megan, well, this fell out. Megan uh, did, at one time, she had her uh, assistant send a very psychotic email to uh, a casting director or something. Megan had a job, and this psychotic assistant sent this, you know, rejecting this job, you know, for Megan, on behalf of Megan. And then they tracked down the email to see where it came from and who it was from. Uh, and it turns out it was from Megan's home home connection, and her computer. So they concluded that Megan sent it. Okay, so Megan uh, pretended to be her psychotic assistant to get out of a job. Uh, so she pretended to be somebody else. So, and that's happened in the past. So will Megan be able to produce these five anonymous friends? Are they real? Or, I mean, that just seems too much. I don't believe that... People magazine would go along with any kind of a fraud, not knowingly. So, but can Megan produce these five anonymous friends? Because there's a court trial and they're going to demand testimony from these five anonymous friends. The five anonymous friends very famously talked about the letter from Thomas Markle and how wonderful Megan was. 
Okay, and it all just sounded like Megan. And all of these people who speak on behalf of Megan sound like they're speaking Megan's words. And Harry sounds like he's speaking Megan's words. She's rather controlling that way. That's a, a sign that they're being very much controlled. So can she produce these five anonymous friends? We had the executioner fallout. Big change, a lot of tr trouble in this direction. A lot of trouble in this direction. 12 and 7, 19, five clubs can be, is crossroads can be speaking with a forked tongue. Big change in this direction and a lot of trouble. So right on the surface, there's a big problem. Everybody can see there's a big problem here. There's a big, big problem with these five anonymous friends and they may be the key to the defense to the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday, the Mirror and the Sun and the Telegraph beating Meghan Markle's thing. That seems to be the key and it's like pretty obvious even to laymen. What's underneath? Player, heart and executioner. 24, 25, seven hearts again. Seven hearts can be, uh, because it's a heart and it's a lot of things, uh, it can be just kind of like a dream, like an illusion. This is like dreamland, like made up. So good intentions, player, actor, and executioner. Uh, the executioner makes an executive decision, it's acting or deception for a good purpose. Yeah, seven hearts. Hmm. So can she produce the five anonymous friends? Well, there's three face cards here. Big problems are showing, looking into the future. The snake looks far into the future. Big problems showing in the future and a big change and... The executioner definitely cuts and deception. There is definitely deception here. There's definitely a big problem here. We have two deceiving cards. We have an organizational type of deceiving. Okay, the king of spades is, 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 will do dirty deeds organizationally. Okay, very in a very organized, systematic fashion. Okay, so systematic deception appearing as like good intentions uh big problem a lot of deception here a lot of problems here she's not gonna really be able to produce these five friends something is really really wrong and that is the heart and soul of the defense that is the that's the heart of the defense strategy and there's a big problem there and everyone can see it so no she's not really Either she's going to be able to produce some of them. Some people, you know, in, a, in the comments are saying all five of those anonymous friends are Megan herself. Okay, so that's one extreme of it. Another is that several of those people are real, like Jessica Mulroney. She would do it. Uh, the hairdresser, he would do it. The, the nail technician would do it. And the, the shoe picker, they would do it. But maybe one of them is also Meghan Markle posing as someone else because she's done that before. That's, uh, that's, ooh, that's not good. You know, but it's not on a par with pretending to be pregnant for 12 months. You know, it's not on, a, it's not on the same par. Okay, so that's actually a smaller deception than what we've already seen. Uh, recently from Megan. All right, let's, what do we have here? Let's review. Was Megan constantly talking in Harry's ear, turning him toward acting, making him believe that he wanted to go to Hollywood and be an actor? She was working an isolation strategy on him, isolation from her family, from his family, and making him uh, look, feel like it's really sweet. And I think he he wanted to please Megan. He wanted what's best for Megan. And he wanted to, the two need to travel together. And what unfortunately happened is Megan didn't join Harry. Harry joined Megan. And so his, his popularity and he lost his way in life and his popularity plummeted. And now he's out of the royal family. And the result of that is a very emotional break from the royals uh, and all kinds of, 
because of all kinds of crazy stuff going on underneath the surface. So she was working a complete isolation strategy. She got him away from William. She got him away from Kate. She got him away from Charles. She pissed. She got him away from all his friends uh, and and England itself and the royal family. And that's, you know, she was working an isolation strategy on him. And, and she was doing that by offering him pie in the sky. Oh, don't you want to be a famous... Uh, someone famous, but he is terribly famous and it's so much better in the royal family. Okay, she's complaining that Kate was treated very differently than her, that under the same circumstances, the crown would have taken very strong measures to protect Kate. So what does this say? This says that Kate uh, is, is kind of invested already. This is her position and she just needs to maintain her position. Megan uh, on her part, needs to earn it. She needs to really put in the hard work in front of the people and earn it, and she never did. She just kept complaining about how it's not given to her, but it was all given to her, and it resulted in too much conflict and her being kicked out of the royal family. When she didn't earn it, she was, that's it. Okay, Kate already earned it, and she just needs to maintain it. Uh, Megan needed to earn it. She needed to put in the hard work to earn it. Jessica and Serena... Have they refused to write depositions? Serena is very upset at Megan right now, but the relationship is very solid and ongoing. Okay, so they just, they're just beefing. They're fighting. They're like little, they're like cats. Uh, whereas Jessica, everything is, everything is great. She's going to do whatever Megan wants. She's a bestie. We have the two hearts. Couldn't be better. No hearts over here. Okay, and we have a spade. Okay, so Jessica's on board. Uh, Serena is not on board. She wants nothing to do with it. She's very upset at Megan that Megan is trying to drag her into this. Uh, and Megan is making her very calculated way, making her emotional appeals. But we're friends. Okay. Uh, will Megan be able to produce the five anonymous friends that interviewed with People Magazine that are the heart of this, of this lawsuit? No. No, something is very, very wrong here. There's, there's definitely deception here. There's deception and illusion. There's three deception cards and organized deception and long-term deception. So a big, big problem with those five anonymous friends. Something is really wrong there. And I think that some of those anonymous friends are real people, but it is suspicious that they're anonymous. And I think that one of those anonymous, one or more of them is actually Megan playing a role, pretending to be somebody else. Okay, because if those interviews were not done face-to-face, -face, it's not that hard, and she's done it before. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full-color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who've uh, purchased me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.